Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 3.2 box plots. 3.2 represents chapter 3, section 2 of the Pearson A Level Mass Applied Mass Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, what does a box plot look like? Ladies and gents, here is a box plot. We've got the minimum value, maximum value, lower quartile, upper quartile, and the median. The outliers are represented by an X. So over here, we've got three different outliers. The lower quartile Q1 is calculated using N over 4, the median Q2 is calculated using N over 2, and the upper quartile Q3 is calculated using 3N over 4. N is the sample size. There are two different scenarios. Scenario number one, if your answer is a decimal number, you round up. For example, if your answer is 3.4, you take the fourth value, you round up. So you put your data set in ascending order and you take out the fourth value. Scenario number two, if your answer is a whole number, you take an average. For example, if you have six, you take the average of the sixth and seventh value. So you put your data set in ascending order, you take out the sixth value, you take out the seventh value, and you then calculate the average. Test for outliers. This is covered in my teaching video 3.1 outliers. There are two different tests. Test number one is called the quartiles test. Test number two is called the mean and standard deviation test. These are the key facts of 3.2 box plots. I'll be implementing these key facts within this exam style question. Let's have a look at an exam style question. Data for maximum daily gust in knots in Camborne in September 1987 is taken from the large data set. So we have the data values. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The sample size is 25. Part A, calculate Q1, Q2 and Q3. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. I'm going to start off with Q1. So we know that Q1 is given by N over 4. So Q1 is equal 25 over 4. If I put this into my calculator, I get Q1 is equal 6.25. This is a decimal number. I must round up. Hence, for Q1, I'm going to be taking the 7th value. So Q1 is equal. Let's go back to the data set. It's already in ascending order. First value, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So the seventh data value is 22. Hence Q1 is equal 22. Now I'm going to calculate Q2, the median. So Q2 is given by N over 2. Hence Q2 is equal 25 over 2. So Q2 is equal 12.5. 12.5 is a decimal number, so we round up. Therefore, we have that Q2 is the 13th value. So if I go back to my data values, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the 13th data value is 26. Hence, we've got the median Q2 is equal 26. Okay, now let's move on to the upper quartile. Q3. Ladies and gents, Q3 is given by 3n over 4. Hence, Q3 is equal 3 times 25, so 25, 50, 75, 75 over 4. Q3 is equal 18.75. This is the decimal number we must round up. So for the upper quartile Q3, we take the 19th value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the 19th of data value is 30, hence the upper quartile Q3 is equal 30. So that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of this exam style question. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. So what does it say in part B? An outlier is defined as a value which lies either 1.5 times the interquartile range above the upper quartile or 1.5 times the interquartile range below the lower quartile. So we have something called the upper limit and the lower limit. Part B, show that 46 and 78 are outliers. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Okay, so we've got part B. Firstly, I'm going to calculate the lower limit, which is given by Q1 minus 1.5 
times the interquartile range, Q3 minus Q1. So Q1 is 22 minus 1.5 times Q3 is 30 minus Q1, which is 22. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 10. Now I'm going to calculate the upper limit. So I've got upper limit, which is given by Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, Q3 minus Q1. I can carry out the substitution. So I've got 30 plus 1.5 times 30 minus 22. And if I put this into my calculator, I get precisely 42. Now, if we go back to the data values, we're trying to show that 46 and 78 are outliers. Well, ladies and gents, firstly, we've got that 46 is more than the upper limit. This implies that 46 is indeed an outlier. Secondly, we've got that 78 is above the upper limit. So we've got 78 is more than 42. This implies that 78 is indeed an outlier. And that there completes part B of this exam style question. Let's have a look at the final part of this exam style question, which is part C. Draw a box plot for this data. Now in the examination, you'll be given a grid on which you can actually draw the box plot. I'm just going to do a free sketch. So let's have a look at part C. The minimum value of the data set is 30. The lower quartile is 22. The median is 26. The upper quartile is 30. Now with the maximum value, we must be careful. 78 is an outlier, 46 is an outlier, so the maximum is labelled as 38. The 46 and 78 are represented with X's. These are outliers. Okay, so we've got 46 and we've got 78. That there completes part C of this exam style question and this teaching video 3.2 box plots. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.